What's up, welcome to another video, in this video, I will discuss Cloris Leachman, Oscar winner, and TV comedy star, which is dead at age 94. Cloris Leachman, who won an Academy Award for her depiction of an ignored housewife in the distinct dramatization, the last picture show yet who was presumably most popular for getting giggles, quite in three Mel Brooks films and on TV comedies like The Mary Tyler Moore Show and Malcolm in the Middle, kicked the bucket on Wednesday at her home in Encinitas, Calif. She was 94. The demise was affirmed by her child Morgan England, who didn't give a reason. Ms. Leachman entered the spotlight as a Miss America contender in 1946, was as yet in the public eye over 74 years after the fact, depicting strange grandmas on TV and film, and rivaling famous people, not exactly a large portion of her age on hitting the dance floor with the stars. In the middle, she won respecting audits for her stage, film, and TV work, just as Emmy Awards for exhibitions in the two dramatizations and comedies. Her film profession started in 1955 when she played a destined drifter in Kiss Me Deadly, a hard-bubbled analyst film dependent on a novel by Mickey Spillane. She was at that point a prepared stage and TV entertainer by at that point, and all through the remainder of the 1950s and the 60s she showed up in large jobs on the little screen, she went before June Lockhart as the mother in the 1957-1958 period of Lassie, and little parts on the big screen, incorporating as a whore in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, 1969. However, she didn't turn into a star until Peter Bogdanovich cast her in the last picture show, his 1971 transformation of Larry McMurtry's tale about existence in a little Texas town in the mid-1950s. Her in an exposed fashion passionate representation of a forlorn moderately aged lady who has a short illicit relationship with a secondary school football player, won her the Oscar for the Best Supporting Entertainer. I'm at a point where I'm allowed to go out and have a good time with my vocation," she said subsequent to winning. Some Oscar victors have exited sight as though they were remaining on a secret entryway. Others got it and went for it. I will go for it. She did, and more honors and approval immediately followed. She never got another Oscar assignment, however, somewhere in the range of 1972 and 2011, she was designated for 22 primetime Emmys and won eight. Some of those Emmys were for emotional work, including her exhibition as a lady who gets herself pregnant at 40 in the made-for-TV film, A Brand New Life, 1973. Be that as it may, satire was her strong point. She was designated multiple times and won twice for her exhibition on the hit CBS sitcom, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, as Phyllis Lindstrom, the empty-headed proprietor of Mary Richards, the brave TV newsmaker played by Ms. Moore. She proceeded to assume a similar part from 1975 to 1977 on the side project arrangement Phyllis, for which she got another Emmy assignment and won a Golden Globe. Despite the fact that her concentration for the remainder of her profession was on TV, she likewise had some paramount film jobs, prominently under Mel Brooks' course. In his darling awfulness parody Youthful Frankenstein, 1974, she was the evil Transylvanian maid Frau Blutcher the actual notice of whose name was sufficient to alarm any pony inside earshot. She played likewise threatening ladies in Mr. Stream's High Anxiety, 1977, and History of the World, Part I, 1981. She additionally co-featured with Harvey Korman in Mr. Creek's brief sitcom, The Nut House, 1989. Ms. Leachman worked with Mr. Bogdanovich again in Daisy Miller, 1974, as the mother of the title character, Sybil Shepard, and in Texasville, 1990, a continuation of the last picture show, wherein she repeated her Oscar-winning job. Cloris Leachman was brought into the world on April 30, 1926, in Des Moines to Berkeley and Cloris, Wallace, Leachman. Her dad worked at his family's timber organization. She started acting in Youngsters Theatre when she was seven, her more youthful sister would likewise turn into an entertainer, under the name Claiborne Carey, and proceeded to contemplate show at Northwestern University, which would grant her a privileged degree in 2014. After a concise attack into the universe of excellence exhibitions, she became Miss Chicago and afterward a Miss America finalist. 
Ms. Leachman moved to New York, where she concentrated with Elia Kazan at the as of late settled actors studio and had a little part in the studio's first Broadway creation, Nightfall Beach, 1948. Ms. Leachman showed up habitually on Broadway throughout the following decade, most quite in a 1950 creation of As You Like It that featured Katherine Hepburn. She momentarily played Ensign Nellie Forbush, the job put on the map by Mary Martin, in the first creation of South Pacific in 1952, and supplanted Kim Stanley in a 1959 recovery of Eugene O'Neill's A Touch of the Poet. But before the finish of the 1950s, she had given up Broadway. She did occasionally revisitation of the stage, in any case, importantly in 1989 and 1990, when she visited the country in the lead spot of Grandmother Moses. An American primitive. It was the start of the grandma period of her vocation. Ms. Leachman was no nonsense Granny Clampett in the film form of the hit TV arrangement, The Beverly Hillbillies, 1993 and the kindly neglectful grandma of a gullible young man in Awful Santa, 2003. She won Emmys in 2002 and 2006 for her work on the Fox sitcom Malcolm in the Middle, as a grandma is just as startling in her manner as Frau Blotcher. Her later film jobs likewise incorporated the mother of a devoted violin educator, Meryl Streep, in Wes Craven's Music of the Heart, 1999 and the mother by the marriage of a worried culinary expert, Adam Sandler, in James L. Stream's Spanglish, 2004. Ms. Leachman's union with the maker George Englund finished in separation in 1979 following 26 years. Mr. Englund passed on in 2017. Their child Brian kicked the bucket in 1986. Notwithstanding her child Morgan, she is made due by two different children, Adam and George England, a little girl, Dinah England, and seven grandkids. Ms. Leachman stayed on the stage nearly to the furthest limit of her life. They must take a lead line and beat me over the head with it to get me to stop, she told a questioner in 2011. In 2008, she completed 7th out of 13 hopefuls on hitting the dance floor with the stars, the well-known ABC rivalry blending famous people with proficient artists. At 82, she was the most established challenger to participate in that opposition. Over 10 years after the fact, Ms. Leachman was all the while working, with a repetitive part on the recovery of the arrangement, Distraught About You, 2019, and in a few movies underway in 2020. In 2010, a year prior to she was drafted into the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame. She started visiting the country with a one-lady show named, similar to her 2009 diary, essentially Chloris, and showing up, up till now another grandma, on the Fox sitcom Raising Hope. She turned into a full-time individual from the Raising Hope cast in the 2011-2012 season. Her charging in the initial credits honored her lifespan.